Hi, it's David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the nation's leader in regenerative cell therapies. I wanted to introduce R3 Stem Cell International, which is our first international stem cell clinic, and it's located in Mexico, in Tijuana, 20 minutes from the San Diego International Airport. What I want to talk about here is safety standards. One of the concerns that we've had for eight years since we started here in the United States was making sure that if we did an international clinic, that it would be the safest known to mankind, that had safety standards that were actually exceeding what the FDA requires here in the United States. And we found that. We've made sure that the safety standards of the biologic, and it's the umbilical cord donors, um, the lab actually works with them from the beginning of the pregnancy with prenatal vitamins and various aspects of nutrition to make sure that what they end up with is a very healthy donation. And it's great for the moms too, because in Mexico, a lot of times the nutrition is not the greatest, you know, through pregnancy. So we get great donations. And it's the same process, no, nothing unethical, no aborted fetuses, none of that. These are donations that occur after a scheduled C-section, okay? Baby's fine, mom's fine. No embryonic stem cells. These are all mesenchymal stem cells, okay? In very high numbers. So the, the donation goes to the lab, which in Mexico, they are allowed to culture the donated material, which is great in the one hand, because you can get much higher cell counts, but potentially a problem if the safety standards aren't in place, okay? So when our lab cultures the material, they make sure that it doesn't duplicate more than two to five times before it's end up getting used. So two to five generations, second to fifth generation, is very powerful and potent because it still has all of its structural integrity. It's very powerful. Once you get to the 10th, 15th, 20th generation, which is what most centers in Mexico use, they're not very powerful or potent and they may have mutations, okay? Which brings me to the second point about the safety standards are our lab uses karyotyping. Karyotyping is really important to look for mutations and we do that to make sure that a patient isn't getting a treatment with a mutation. All right, that's another reason that a lot of labs are not so safety conscious in the U.S. They don't want to take the expense of doing the karyotyping. Now, the procedures cost only $2,950 at our centers in, in our center in Mexico. We've been able to accomplish that because of our leveraging of our purchasing power, all the procedures we've done in the U.S., and the cost of doing business is not as high in Mexico as it is in the United States. So we made very sure of that, that we had a safe setting with a you know, really nice um, office and, and that our provider has done many procedures and uses image guidance so he knows exactly where the needle is going. Okay? So all of that has come into play so that we can offer this for only $2,950. We do offer VIP escort transportation to and from the clinic from San Diego and we have special lodging rates uh, for hotels in San Diego. So visit us online today at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com and then call us to set up your free phone consultation at 888-988-0515. We look forward to hearing from you.